Hey fitness fam, are you torn between bodyweight exercises and barbell training? Wondering which one's going to take your fitness game to the next level? Well, you're definitely not alone in this. It's not exactly a life or death choice, but hey, it's a biggie if you're serious about shaping up, whether you're just starting out or you're already deep into your fitness journey. Now, both training styles have their killer benefits and sure, a few drawbacks. And yeah, the perfect fitness plan might actually mix a little bit of both. But what happens when we pit them against each other? Which one will emerge as the fitness champ? In this video, we're diving deep into what makes each style unique so you can figure out which one aligns best with your goals. Stick around because we're not just going to sit on the fence and say, both are great. Nope. We're throwing down a solid answer for you. Get ready because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which training style to champion in your own fitness journey. Let's get into it. All right, let's dive into this intense battle between calisthenics and weightlifting. We're super lucky to have options when it comes to getting fit, and these two are top picks in the fitness world. Calisthenics is all about using your body weight for those gravity-defying moves, while weightlifting is your classic gym-style training, pumping iron to build strength and muscle. Interestingly, even though they're quite different, they actually complement each other really well. But today, we're setting aside their teamwork to focus on a head-to-head -head comparison. First off, let's define our contenders. Weightlifting involves lifting external weights, like barbells and dumbbells, to challenge your muscles, featuring heavy hitters like squats and deadlifts. On the flip side, calisthenics uses your own body as resistance, with exercises that scale up to advanced acrobatics, gaining fame from prison workouts to CrossFit and street fitness. Cost-wise, calisthenics can be pretty much free, especially if you start at a local park with some pull-up bars. You might want a pair of resistance bands to assist at first, but initially, it's all about simplicity. Weightlifting, however, can be a bit pricey if you're looking to set up a home gym, potentially setting you back at least $1,500 to cover all the essentials or paying monthly for a local gym. All right, let's break this down real quick. If you're looking at the cost of getting into fitness, calisthenics pretty much wins since it's mostly free, just your body and maybe a park with some bars. A gym membership, though, that's a different story. It can start cheap but definitely adds up, costing anywhere from $10 to $100 a month, with the average around $40 to $50. Even though it's an investment in your health, it's still cash out of your wallet. Now let's talk about starting out. You might think calisthenics is the easier route since it's just body weight, right? But hold up, it's actually not that simple. For beginners, doing even basic moves like a chin-up or a push-up can be super tough. There are entire programs dedicated to nailing your first pull-up because all you have to lift is your own body, which isn't adjustable like weights in the gym. In weightlifting, you've got a ton of flexibility. You can start with super light weights, even specialty bars that are only 5 to 10 pounds, making it way easier to get into if you're new to fitness. Plus, you have lots of machines that let you work the same muscle in different ways, which is great for progression and staying motivated. And if we touch on weight loss, calisthenics might feel impossible if you're starting out overweight because you're essentially lifting all that extra weight right off the bat. In a gym, you can adjust the weights to suit your level, making it a more encouraging and feasible start. So bottom line, while both methods are awesome for long-term fitness goals, weightlifting might just be the easier and more flexible way for beginners to kickstart their fitness journey, especially if shedding pounds is also a goal. So when it comes to choosing between calisthenics and weightlifting it's not just about physical strength but also variety and motivation in calisthenics you have a core set of moves and mastering the most advanced ones like the human flag or planche can take years it's intense and requires a ton of patience since you're basically developing skills which might not be everyone's cup of tea some folks thrive on this challenge loving every tiny improvement but let's be real it's not for everyone on the flip side Weightlifting is like the ultimate buffet of exercises. You've got countless variations to keep things spicy. Think about all those different types of deadlifts and presses. Plus, tracking your progress is straightforward. Lifted more this week than last, boom, you're stronger. And when it comes to long-term goals, weightlifting has the edge because you can continuously tweak the load, making small but impactful gains. Now, think about the vibe. Training alone at home or in a park with no AC, and no one to cheer you on is a whole different ballgame compared to a buzzing gym with all the comforts and community vibes. Sure, training alone and outdoors has mental health perks, 
but many find that gym environments boost their motivation and performance. So, while calisthenics offers some solid benefits and an impressive skill set, weightlifting generally provides more variety, measurable progress, and a more engaging atmosphere, making it a go-to for many fitness enthusiasts. All right, so diving right into the heated debate, which is more effective, calisthenics or weightlifting? Both can seriously ramp up your fitness, build strength, and bulk up those muscles. And yes, let's bust a myth right here. Calisthenics can definitely pack on muscle. Just because you're doing push-ups instead of bench presses doesn't mean your muscles are slacking off. In fact, studies have shown that with the right resistance, like adding bands to push-ups, the muscle activation and growth can be as good as lifting weights. But here's the big catch of the day. While calisthenics is awesome and challenging, it's got its limits. For instance, if you're working towards those high-level moves like a one-arm push-up, you're still limited by your body weight. You can't just add a couple of pounds like you can with weights to slowly increase the challenge. Plus, calisthenics can fall short when it comes to variety and hitting every muscle perfectly, especially your legs. Those looking to really develop their lower body might find it tough to get the same results with body weight alone, compared to the heavy squats and deadlifts you can hammer out at the gym. While calisthenics offers a fantastic body weight based way to get fit and strong, Weightlifting might just edge it out in terms of overall effectiveness, particularly for those wanting to maximize muscle growth and strength throughout the entire body. So after diving deep into the showdown between calisthenics and weightlifting, we're wrapping things up with some final thoughts. Both training methods are killer for boosting your fitness, but if we really had to pick one, especially when we're talking straight facts and no blends, weightlifting might just take the crown for overall effectiveness. Why weightlifting, you ask? Well, it boils down to a couple of key points. First up, the variety of exercises you can do with weights is just massive. Whether it's squats, deadlifts, or bench presses, there's always a way to shake things up and keep your body guessing, which is crucial for continuous improvement. Plus, the ability to precisely load your exercises makes progressing not just easier, but also measurable. You can start light and gradually add more weight as you get stronger making it super satisfying to see your progress in real numbers. Now, don't get me wrong, calisthenics has its superstars like dips and pull-ups, which we absolutely love and often incorporate into our training programs. The blend of weightlifting and calisthenics can bring out the best in your fitness game. But when you're just starting out or if you have to choose one, weightlifting provides a broader array of options and an easier path to scaling up your workouts. So there you have it. If you're kicking off your fitness journey, or looking to refine your training strategy, consider giving weightlifting a serious thought. And hey, if you've been tuning in and digging this breakdown, smash that like and subscribe button for more awesome content. Let's keep pushing, keep lifting, and remember to flex your knowledge and glow with results. Thanks for joining in on this great debate, and I'll catch you next time.